Hello? So we are back Wednesday and I just been outside for a cigarette and I, I, I met a nice uh, gentleman and he knew everything about the channel, he, knows, he knew about the solar project I'm, I'm so happy you know when I meet the people actually they are watching the channel and I did ask him you know you are some kind of uh, electronics enthusiast I said no no I'm chef but you know I love watching these kind of movies <laughs> videos You know, I love meeting people. I'm, I'm not a... Um, uh, how can I say it? I'm not a very social person. But, you know, I love um, to meet people that they, they watch the channel. And uh, I think was here like three or four. And one of them, they bring me some whiskey. And I still have them. I put it there on one side and it's still there. But anyway. Let's start fixing a phone. People are nice. Let's start fixing a phone. This is an iPhone 8. I have to do a video about this fault because there are so many. And you know what kind of fault is? It's a fault which is uh, made by someone. And you will make this fault and you will not realize. Yeah. So we have an iPhone 8. iPhone 8. Look here on the charging. Now it's like 300. If it's off is going down to nearly zero so what do you think is the fault that's the problem we had few few phones with this fault and i think even the iphone 7 is the same and uh, if i remember if i remember i'm not sure the 7 but i know the 8 the 8 has this fault yeah because it's taking no power it's not charging we have no charging sign on the screen it's not charging sign on the screen yeah so let's fix it I don't believe it's the charging port from the simple reason when I power up the screen the current goes up so that means the charging port it's able to carry the carry the current if I try and play shutdown restart I'll actually the, the current goes up to probably like one amp let's see Let's power up the phone. And when I seen the phone, the phone, and he told me the phone, the fault, it's Iman, the guy, the other guy. And I told him, you broke it. I said, no, 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 it was like that, it was like that. <laughs> okay, the phone is coming on. Just follow the current, follow the current. 600 700 1.1 1 1.3 1 amps 1.4 amps so you don't have a faulty charging port your charging port is able to able to carry the the power look now it's 1.1 amp and it's on but you still we don't have the charging sign yeah you can see that and very soon the current will goes down okay let's check the schematics the schematics is is very actually we don't have the schematics actually we don't need the schematics yeah but we have the the board view software yeah we have the board view software all what i want is to follow together some tracks yeah uh phones phone board software phone board, board software yeah i think it, this is a free software so anyone can have it iPhone 8 so let's watch here this one yeah 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 give it back yeah 15 three months warranty <clears throat> okay Uh, what I did it okay is here so let's get concentrated on the battery connector please because the problem is here what happened many times when you replace the screen or uh, whatever you do you disconnect the battery actually you broke something there give me one second
Okay. So let's try to concentrate. So the, 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 the battery port is here. So every every time when you disconnect or connect the battery, it's most likely you will damage something around here. But before I will tell you what, let's follow together the the tracks, yeah? So you have plus and minus, plus and minus. Well that's you know that. You know you know that already. Plus and minus. So let's follow the data pins, data lines. Yeah, you have one data line here, you have one clock and one data. I don't know which one it is. So as you can see, let's take this one. Here you have, I think these are some transistors, so probably some MOSFETs. You know, three. Three here. If I connect the other data pin, we have three here. So let's say one this. This most likely it's a capacitor. We don't care about that. So we care about this transistor. Let's see where the signal is going. So here, let me see, you have to see the big picture to understand how this works. We have one pin there, one pin here. This pin of this transistor is going on many points. You can see the red points. So that means it's not my signal way. The signal way is this, the other pin. And it's coming here, probably here it's a capacitor to ground. The gray is ground, so we don't care. Here probably we have a resistor from here to here, and from here is going, let's see where it's going, straight to the processor, you can see? So clearly this is a clock or data line, yeah? Boom, the next one, uh, which is, the, this, this one is the next one, yeah? Again, this, this is coming here, and to many other points, you see the red points? So that's one pin of the MOSFET, we don't care, that's not the data, the data is this one. Here is gray, probably it's a capacitor, and from here to here probably it's a resistor. And it's going again to the processor. So you see, that's the, that's the, 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 the data, these are the, those, the data lines from the battery, clock and data. And yes, the processor has to read the battery to know all the time what's going on with the battery. Obviously, if you cannot communicate with the battery, it will not charge and it will not, you know, weird things can happen. So what happened with this? Actually, one of these transistors is getting damaged very easily. So actually, you will damage that with your, with your uh, uh, nail, yeah? When you try to, if you try to use your nail to take out the battery connector, you will broke that transistor, okay? Let's have a look on the board. Let me take the board out first. It happens so many times because obviously, look, how is the battery? You'll put the, the nail here exactly where is that, uh, where are those transistors? Now, the easy way to fix this, I'll show you the easy way. Actually, you can jump over that transistor and that will be fine. That's a digital communication. I should work fine even without uh, without uh, that transistor. Yeah. So that was a nice surprise. <laughs> it was a nice guy, a happy guy. Let's have a look. Uh, microscope. Yeah, thank you. Let's see. So we did the theory. Let's see the. Yeah, so check there. That's the battery connector. You have one pin clock, one data, but we don't care about that, which one it is. So you have here two transistor, one and two. You can see them? You can see the two pins, but one is behind. Yeah? You can see the two pins, but one is behind here. So you have this transistor and this transistor. Okay? Both transistors can be jumped. Okay? If you have problems. Most likely... This is faulty, or this. This is okay. This is moving. You can see? It's moving. So check here. 
you can see that transistor moving and I told him you know you broke that thing and I said no 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 you didn't yeah I know yes 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 I know that I don't know if you can if I can solder this back but well, probably not because this is glass and there are some uh, are some pins like a glass chip or glass transistor but anyway Let's take this down because that's not the idea to replace this. It's, let's see how we can fix this. Okay. It's gone. That pin is gone. Okay. Let's have a look together again. With the board. With the board, so we have this and this two, uh, these two pins, and this is gone. Okay, this is not a problem because we can come with a wire from this pin straight to which one is data? Uh, this, yeah, straight here. So from here, I think here. Let me check. Let me check with the with a multimeter, one second. I see one second. It's not this one. It's okay. We can come with the pin straight from the from the battery connector so you can come with a with a wire from here straight there okay from here straight there this these are not going here so no we can come here no no we can come with a wire from here there let me check on the board oh no we can't do it this is another glass thingy there so here is a glass thingy, and after that it's a capacitor here, here, here. Okay, we can't do it. We can. These are there are some kind of protection. So we can even we can remove this. Yeah, we can remove this this bit, and we can uh, just make a track from here to this pin. Or we can make a track from this, those pins from here, straight to this one. Or we can fix it. Let's try. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it first. Let's take this. Wow. Does long screw damage? No. Not. Uh, we're here, 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 here. Let's get this bit out. Maybe it will happen to you because it happens so many times here and I know I don't have a video about this okay so now all what we need where well, the problem is one second one second Let me see, this truck is going here? No, it's not coming here. No, okay, that's plus. So we need a wire from here, there, okay? Let me find a tiny wire, because we need a tiny wire. Also, we need a very tiny soldering tip. My one is quite big. So let's, let me replace this with a new one. <sighs> well, that's my old one. Let me grab a new one. Let me grab a new one. If 
if I can find a new one. You know how it is, if you do phones every day, you probably will have the best tool. But this is like somewhere in the middle. It's not for phones and it's not for big things. It's somewhere in the middle. And this is helpful. That's why I'm keeping this solder iron. And I have a nice gentleman. He sent me a package with uh, different things. Well, it's at home. and he's, he, he sent me a nice soldering iron, like a very tiny one, special for phones. Probably I'll bring it, I'll bring it here uh, in the next days. But that's special for phone for phones. What are my my tips for my solar iron? No, this is the big one. You see, this is the big one. I don't need that one. I need a small one. Yeah, I found them. Sorry. So let's replace the tip with a new one. Wait, actually, actually, it's not what I'm looking for. No, uh, these are too big. Okay, I suppose we have to use the old one. I have to order more. Yeah, all back. Board, let's use some flux. Good. Let's see what we can do because everything is very tiny there. A wire, wire. Let me find a wire. That would be a challenge. Tiny fuse, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we do have some wire. I don't know how, but it should be fine. It should be fine. Zero point ten. It's a little bit bigger for what we need. But should be fine. Okay. Somehow we have to come here, yeah? Uh, this solder wire is too big also. I'm trying to prime the wire. Mm. 
Now let's try again. <clears throat> No, it's not good. It's not good and the board is moving around. Let's see now. Still not good. That should be fine. And where? Where I said? Uh, there. On that pin. Now all what we need is a blade. We can find a blade. Of course there's no blade here. One second. Okay, phone one. That should be fine. Check the truck one more time. Be sure it's not touching here and it's not touching there. Let's clean the board quickly. Let's have a look one more time, just to be sure everything is fine. Yes, yeah, so that's what we done. We done a truck from there, there. Okay? So, let's check now, let's see if it's working. So you can jump, exactly what I did, you can jump over that transistor. It's a transistor which is switching, same like, you know, the signal which is coming on the input is on the output, but will still be working fine without it. So you have to be careful when you replace the screen and you take out the battery. Uh, because, you know, this can happen very easily. Screen is back. Okay, and the battery, yeah? Now we have one more connector here. Plug the charger. A 
300, 1.9 amps, and we have the charging sign. You can see the charging sign. So finally, finally now, uh, the battery percentage is reported correctly with the with the with the processor. So now the processor actually knows the battery is discharged. Okay, let's wait. Now it's working okay. Now it's fine. 1.8 amps. You can see there the charge 1.9 amps. That's the charging current. But it's like you know, like every five iPhone, uh, iPhone eight. Every time happen. Every five iPhones. It's still charging. Let's wait a bit. It's coming on, you can see. <clears throat> it's on, it's still taking two amps. And we have the charging sign on the battery. You can see the charging sign there? Hopefully you can see. Yeah? So that's the way how you fix this fault. But in this case, you don't really have to replace the transistor. You can jump over them. It's a transistor. The transistor is there to switch. It's switching, but on the same way, the output of the battery clock and data is switching. So it's nearly the same. It's no difference. Actually, you'll see no difference. Still charging 1.7 amps. That's the way how you fix this fault. When it's no charging, when it's charging only when it's off, yeah? Or different weird things like you plug the charger and actually you don't have the charging sign. Okay? The charging fine. So I will stop now. But it's the lunch break. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you probably over the weekend with the solar project. <laughs> okay. Bye.